So I'd been living back in Ohio for about six months and Katie came up to visit me and she started talking about this guy. Her friend Robbie had introduced her to him and he was so cute. And he played water polo and the guitar and she was already so sure that she was gonna marry him one day. So I was like, whoa, I have not met him. And he has to pass the best friend test, right? So I was like, let's see how serious this really is. Not too long after that, my family and I went down to New Smyrna to celebrate New Year's with the Hawkins and Katie invited Cameron to come along so that we could all meet him and get to know each other a little better. And I remember it was a cold and rainy weekend, uh, so we spent most of the time inside just playing games and getting to know each other and really had a great weekend. And it made me so happy to see how happy they made each other. And after that weekend, I knew that he'd probably be around for a while and he passed the best friend test with flying colors. Bachelorette party, Haley was asking Katie some questions about Cam and their wedding, and one of them was, were you most excited about getting married to Cam? Katie could barely get the word husband out without crying. The love that these two share is too much to explain in words, but as we have all seen here, it's evident. brother figure and he still does he was always there anytime I needed any advice or help with something I was uncertain about I would also like to say thank you to you Cam for being the one that walked in my sister and my family's lives I want to say congratulations to the both of you I'm so happy you two found each other I'm even more thrilled to see a smile that big on my sister's face every time that you walk in the room Cam I couldn't think of anyone else I'd rather take my sister's hand. It means a lot to know my sister has someone as good as you to be here forever. I vow to always choose you, knowing that sometimes it will be effortless and other times it will not. Not just through bad days and good, but the average days in between that often get blurred together over the years. I vow to try and make every day together memorable in some way. I vow to protect you, our family, and our home. Not just from physical harm and danger, but protect you emotionally and mentally as well. I will strive to keep our space peaceful, civil, and free of fear, doubt, or distrust. I know letting go of Hawkins is hard for you, as your family name is something that you hold so dear and close, 
but with the name Graham, you can give it the name New Meaning, New Love, and eventually a whole new family that I cannot wait to meet. I vow to be your map when you are lost. I vow to be your strength when you are weak. I vow to be your music when you just need to dance. I vow to be your lyrics when you need a song. I vow to appreciate a Duke win because I love you, but as long as it's never against FSU or UNC. I vow to trust and value your, your opinions. I vow to binge watch The Office for as long as it's streaming. I vow to try to show you as much patience as you show me, hence try. I vow to travel beside you through all of life's adventures. I vow to always root for you, cheer you on, and be your biggest fan. I vow to cherish your dreams and make them my own. I vow to be the mother your future children deserve, to, cheat, to teach them to love, to work hard, and to never doubt themselves. I vow to listen to your thoughts and feelings. And lastly, I vow that I will choose you every day a million times over, not because I have to, not because I need to, but more than anything in the world, I want to. Because ultimately, in my dreams, your dreams come true. Lastly, I vow to love you forever and ever, amen. I can only say that there's not a better person for Cameron. Your drive, passion, and love for whether it's being a friend, helping others, starting your own business, going to school, whatever the case may be, is something I've always admired. And I think not only Cam, but everyone around you is a better person because of it. I couldn't be prouder to call you my sister-in-law. And I want to thank you for loving my, my friend as much as you do, because Cameron is one of the greatest humans that I personally know. And I can't think of two people more deserving for each other. Upon the authority that has been given to me by the state of Florida and the Word of God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Cameron, you may kiss your bride.